we are here to present the, the three-year update on the strategy that, that you adopted in July of, of 2009. Since the strategy was adopted, we have assisted over 500 businesses. This is direct assistance provided by either PDC, the City of Portland, or the partners that we fund. We've provided almost 75 million in direct financial assistance. That financial assistance has been leveraged 10 times. So we're talking $750 million in private investment. So before we get into the job numbers, those, those are impressive by themselves. I think we're now seeing a model that we can replicate going forward and a model that we can defend when people ask why would you invest additional dollars in economic development. The job and, and leverage numbers really speak for themselves. We've impacted over 4,000 jobs over the past uh, over three years. Almost 1,500 of those jobs are jobs that we helped retain and then the remainder are, are new jobs that were created either through work that we've done with local companies, startup companies, primarily small businesses, and then almost 900 jobs that we have attracted through our very targeted recruitment efforts. We obviously still have around 8% unemployment. That's way too high, and so we have significant work to do. But the trends are in the right direction. And more importantly, what we're seeing for the first time is the Portland metro area and Multnomah County dropping below the national average. Uh, typically, we're above the national average. As I mentioned, we are more susceptible to economic cycles, or have been historically. And I think we're now entering a period where we can outperform the national economy and hopefully we can bring along the rest of the state as well. With regard to entrepreneurship, we've had a number of, of fairly high profile initiatives. I don't think anything has, has received more attention probably than our work in establishing the Portland Seed Fund. But we have other initiatives, whether it be the, the Produce Row Initiative on the Central East Side, uh, Portland 100, which is an effort to grow uh, our most scalable startups, our State of Entrepreneurship Scorecard, which is designed to, 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 to give us real metrics to measure our, our progress, uh, our work in, start, in, in establishing Startup PDX, and our work with our university partners around um, around technology and, 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 and commercialization efforts. All this is trying to build a uh, robust entrepreneurship ecosystem and we believe that the early results suggest that we're making a difference. Really we found that like Portland is really in sort of a golden era for startups right now. Um, and that's really in no small part thanks to what the PDC is doing. Um, and you know as a result of all these efforts there are an explosion of startups um, that are literally pouring millions and millions of dollars in the community right now. Hundreds if not thousands of jobs being created. And uh, so we're really, really grateful to the city and to the CDC for the support along the way. Uh, and we hope the, the trend of investing in Portland startups continues up into the night. I think everybody knows we've been focused on four clusters for the past three and a half years. Um, uh, software, advanced manufacturing, clean tech, and athletic and outdoor. What I have here to show you is just the, the job trends. Three of the four clusters have experienced material growth in jobs from their low point, which you can see on the graph there. So the cluster work, I, I think we feel like, has benefited these, each of these industries, and our challenge there is just to continue uh, to figure out new ways to help grow the competitive advantage of these companies. We were thrilled to see the strategies um, focus, cluster focus, and the continued focus on manufacturing. Even though, as again Mr. Quinton showed, there's been an overall national decline in manufacturing jobs, the Portland region actually performs better than many of our peer cities and we have retained a number of high value manufacturing jobs. And they generate $36 billion worth of economic activity in our region every year. The um, development of the Greater, Export, the Greater Portland Export Plan was a significant achievement for the region and will turbocharge what is already very robust trade activity. We are the second most trade dependent metro economy in the, in the country and we put forth a plan that will uh, once again double exports in the next five years. Leadership by Mayor Adams and the Portland Development Commission was instrumental in having Portland selected as only one of only four cities that is um, participating under the Brookings Institute um, export strategy. Through our partners and, and, uh, and through our work, we've assisted 136 small businesses over the past year and 376 businesses through our, our, our successful microenterprise and um, EOI program. Este es un nuevo día para mi negocio. Y espero que muchos otros negocios trabajando duro para mantener a sus familias puedan tomar ventaja de esta oportunidad y aprovecharla. This is a new day for my business. 
and I hope many other businesses working hard to support their families can take advantage of this opportunity. Thank you for thinking of us in Outer Southeast and supporting us with your services. The efforts that the micro lending and uh, technical assistance, and it's great. It, it has provided us an opportunity to keep those 24 families uh, employed, uh, working, and being a part of this community. One of PDC's strongest legacies is our, is our uh, exceptional track record in working with minority and women contractors. Last year we had 39% um, of, our, of our dollars uh, went to MWSD firms and we also had significant results on the, on the workforce and apprenticeship side. Um, so we're, we're excited to move, to move those, that thinking and, that, and, and those results more broadly into our business development efforts. Our work must be focused on communities of color. Our work must be focused on, on uh, neighborhoods that have historically not received the same level of investment as, uh, as other areas in Portland. And I think that means that we need to focus more on East Portland and outer Northeast Portland. So we have a strategy now that, that actually does that and it states it explicitly as the objective. I remember 10 years ago, there was sort of a chorus and the, and the general refrain was, Portland is unfriendly to business. And now what we get is a different chorus coming to council talking about Portland being a place that supports innovation and job growth and dreams, and it's a different narrative. And it's because of a lot of intentional work reflected here and here. So Mayor, job well done. I thank you for all of your leadership, and I'm proud to be on a council that has put job creation as a priority. Bye. We in the city will continue to support both large and small businesses in Portland. I appreciate the Portland Development Commission and thank you, Mayor, for your leadership. This is absolutely a legacy. My thanks to the City Council for in, a, in very difficult budget environments where we are cutting positions in the city. This City Council has increased its funding for business assistance and job creation efforts. And this is a job City Council and I hope every Portlander knows that. We're adjourned.